just like wine. My twist outs get better with time. <laughs> that I look bald but my hair is in a bun I haven't did this in a while oh my god um hey YouTube um before we get started I know that this video is very random like the last time that I posted a video was definitely like some months ago I am here because I want to make an updated twist out video for you guys. My first video was actually a twist out tutorial. Twist outs are my go-to styles. Twist outs are my favorite things to do because I've perfected my twist outs and I like doing them. But I kind of look back on the previous video and I'm like, there are a lot of things that I do now that I need to include in the process and let you guys know what I do. I also just bought a new product and I wanted to try it out. So why not make a video? Y'all know I'm low key a product junkie and um, that's some, something that I need to work on. But for now, I'm keep buying up stuff until I don't have any room to put them. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow and I'm going to do the twist out on freshly washed hair. My first twist out video was done on dry stretch hair. This time I want to do one on freshly washed hair so you guys can see the difference. I'm also going to include progression photos and videos at the end so you guys can see how my hair progresses. Stay tuned and um, before I go to the next clip, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe and share video or go ahead and just subscribe I guess shoot I don't know I haven't made a video in a long time I don't even know what I'm saying anymore okay whatever next clip you will see my hair uh, freshly washed. so this is my hair freshly washed no product I dried my hair with a t-shirt because I prefer not to use towels and as you can see my hair grows um, pretty crazy it's much longer in the back than it is in the front on the sides which I hate very much because it makes my hair look like it's shaped very awkward um, I also don't really have that much of a curl pattern in the front it's kind of just like frizzy but this is what my hair looks like before so not shown in this video is me detangling my hair Please, please, please go and detangle your hair before you start twisting. It's going to make the process much easier. Off camera, I also went ahead and twisted up the rest of my hair simply because if I filmed the entire process, that would be a long video and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see that. Also, you're going to see me look at the side a couple of times because I was watching 13 Reasons Why. But here, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the products and coat the entire section of my hair. I'm also going to finger detangle at the same time because when I go in with my detangling brush, it's going to be easier for the brush to get through my hair. After that, I'll use some castor oil which is my preferred oil of choice. Castor oil is kind of thick, so you know, if you want a lighter oil, possibly almond or jojoba or something like that, you can use that as well, but that's just what I had available. And then I'm gonna take the brush and go through my hair and see. When have y'all seen a brush get through my hair like that? Never, like, so yeah, that's how important it is for you to detangle. Then I'm gonna go in and twist. This video is sped up, but when I'm twisting, I like to twist as I twist, if that makes sense. And when I get down to the bottom, I'll go ahead and brush out the ends as well. And take a little bit more product and then coil the end around my finger. And voila, isn't that cute? So that's a darn good twist. That is a darn good twist. So yeah, simple as that. Okay, I haven't even taken my twist out. I don't even know how my twist 
my swimsuit is gonna turn out because I'm not taking them out until tomorrow. But just from the feel and just from applying the product on my hair, y'all. What I didn't realize is that down here it says for dry dehydrated hair. Coconut oil in this shea butter and pure honey. As a smell, it smells heavenly. Like if this was a lotion, I'd probably wear it. It smells great. So as far as consistency here, I'm gonna scoop some. So it's definitely like a whip. Kind of thick, but if y'all watched in my video, y'all will see that I really didn't have any issues with applying it. It's not too thick to apply, which is good. It's very good. My hair feels moisturized, but it's not greasy. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, like this is definitely, y'all, if y'all, you know, want to try this out, I definitely think you should. Like, and if it doesn't work, I will send you my address and y'all can send it to me because I'm like, I'm going to buy this again when I run out. All right, so. This is two days later. I know in the video I said I was only gonna leave them in for one day, but I ended up leaving them in for two days because I didn't go anywhere important. Y'all, I did not go to work with my hair like this. I was actually off, so don't talk about me because I didn't go out looking like this. But what you can see is I put the twists up just to stretch them because since I did it on wet hair, my hair was so shrunken, so I tried to stretch them out. I left the two in the back out because you guys know that my hair in the back is longer than the rest of my hair, so I didn't want that to be too stretched. So I just coated my hair with some castor oil, and then I'm going to take out the twist. How I'm doing it is I'm basically twisting in the opposite direction, and once it's separated enough, I'll just split the two sections apart. I mean, look at the definition. It speaks for itself if you ask me. So yeah, just basically twist in the opposite direction. And once you get down far enough, you can go ahead and separate the twist like that. So the next step here is to separate your twist and basically what I try to do is to pull at wherever my hair wants to naturally separate. If I see that my hair really isn't coming apart, I'll just leave it alone and probably try to separate a little bit more the next day. As far as day one, the curls are very, very defined, but as the days go by, I'm going to add more volume and my hair will get a little bit bigger because I'll separate more and more as the days go on. I use my wide tooth comb to pick my roots because I couldn't find my actual pick. You actually don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just wanted to um, see if I can give a little bit more volume. What you're going to see here is how I preserve my twist out. I basically just put my hair in two ponytails and put a bonnet on my head and call it a night. Also, please excuse my face. All of my progression videos were done when I wake up in the morning, which is like around 4.45 or 5. I'm not the happiest looking person when I wake up, but I promise y'all I'm okay. But um, here I'm just going to separate my twist a little bit more as the days go by. I'll just keep separating until I think it looks good. I did not add any type of product to my hair until day three 
I noticed that my hair wasn't as moisturized as the first and second days. It wasn't dry, it just wasn't as moisturized, which is to be expected since I wasn't putting anything on my hair. So basically I just went in with some castor oil and applied some to my edges as well, um, just to add a little bit of moisture to my hair. So by the night of day three, going into day four, I decided to do three ponytails instead of two, simply because the hair in the back of my head was starting to become too stretched and it was hanging a little bit longer than the rest of my hair. So I just did a ponytail at the base of my head and then still had the two ponytails at the top. I also wanted to show you guys my frizz spots by day four my hair was starting to frizz so basically I just went in with some product and coiled the ends. This is day five hair, believe it or not. I still think my twist out is popping. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for bringing me to this moment. Um, Normally around day five, day six, I'll probably do something else with it. Like I've been wearing it the same way, basically like a middle part and then I'll pin the sides down. Simply because the way that my hair is shaped, like this style, um, put it this way, I think it goes better. I'm definitely gonna try to make this twist out last for seven days. So today's day five, it's Tuesday, yay. Um, so just Wednesday and Thursday, hopefully we can make it seven days. My hair is starting to frizz. Um, I think it still looks good. It's bomb, it's bomb AF. But listen, this twist out, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to put y'all on game. Don't sleep on the kid. Do not sleep on the kid. Seven day twist out, honey. Because just like wine, my twist outs get better with time. So last night, um, last night I actually went out and um, I had styled my hair differently. I styled it like the way that I said I was gonna do. So I realized that I had edited this part out the night before, I styled it differently with the top knot and the rest down. Please excuse the way that I sound right now. I think I'm starting to get sick or something like that. I, I don't know. But um, I don't know what my hair looks like up under this bonnet. I did, you know, ponytail my hair. But I just don't know. It's day six and like things are starting to get a little bit rough. Like, God. But um, here we go. I'm gonna have to find my pick or go buy another one because this is getting ridiculous. But um, day six, this is the ultimate frizz right here. Like literally the ultimate frizz. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it down so I can wear it like how I've been wearing it. Natural hair is a full-time job. Like, bro, bro. I'm definitely gonna have to revive this a little bit before I step out. I'm about to go run a couple of errands real quick, you know? But when I actually go out, out, I want to look like somebody. But for now, this is this is what we're rocking with. And then I realized that this side is more defined than this side. I think it's because I sleep on my right side. I think we're still okay. Tomorrow is day seven. Just gotta make it to tomorrow. Don't really know what's going on up under this bonnet. I did my ponytail last night. 
And I'm gonna see if we can, um, we. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, dress it up and make it real for y'all. This is day seven on my twist out. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I can make it look decent because I'm about to go out. So, yeah. Here we go. Real quick, I'm gonna have to work some magic and then we're gonna have a talk about this. Okay? This is the finished look for day seven. It's not really that much different than the previous days. I still have it styled the same way, middle part, and then I pin the sides and let this kind of hang a little bit. Overall, I think that this is a good quality twist out. Keep in mind, like, I didn't retwist my hair at all this whole week. So today is Thursday. This whole process started last Tuesday. So basically, I washed my hair Tuesday night, twisted Tuesday night. I left my twist in Wednesday and Thursday. So by Friday, that was day one. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, today is Thursday. So that is seven, I guess I should do this. Seven days, seven day twist out. No retwisting, no cap, okay? No cap. If that don't make you subscribe to my channel, then I don't know what else I got to do. Like, I don't know what else I have to do. This is seven day twist out. Like, and this is coming from a type four, a true type four natural. Sorry, I'm just admiring my fro, like. A lot of other YouTube naturals, they have like the subscriber base to gas them up. I don't have that yet, so I gotta gas my own stuff up. My hair looks good, okay? I'm sorry, it, it looks good. So yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, By the way, this video is not sponsored at all. Like, I'm not getting paid for this. I, bought the product with my own money it's not sponsored so this is just my personal review it did well on my hair i think you guys should definitely try it this video is getting a tad bit longer than i thought so that is it thank you guys for tuning in go ahead and like comment subscribe share follow y'all can follow me on social media i'll put my social handles in the description box I'm rambling. I'm about to stop talking. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.